Hi, this is Chai Perez. Welcome back to our channel, Regina's Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna share to you some of the appetizer that mostly parties wanted to have. Especially we have a lot of kids. They want to start first anything to eat while waiting for the main course. So, sit back, keep watching, and let's start cooking! Our menu for today is what we call dumplings and shomai. Dumplings, we have a different kind of uh, ingredients that we can put. The, we have the shrimp, we have the chicken, we have ground beef, ground pork, and all of this vegetable that goes with it. And those are things that can be used for a shomai and dumplings so let's start making it but don't forget we have this one this is the one that we use for any of it this square one is good for shomai okay and this one is for the dumpling you don't have to make the dough for this you can buy it in a grocery store which is easier for you because it is in a package it has direction and you can follow really good okay so on this one we have also our soy sauce that goes with that a different two different soy sauce we have the dark and the light soy sauce and we have the sesame oil that makes it smell so good okay and of course we have our ginger our mince uh, garlic and the eggs that we used to have the vegetable so we have that water chestnut that is chopped in finely but you know what you can put it on the food processor which is i did because it's time consuming okay and also the carrots i put that one in a food processor and uh, and we have different kinds in here we have the, the shrimp that i jump onto this one to that the shrimp I just show you we have a little uh, not cut but this one is chopped finely by hand and this is the beef there's a ground beef this one I put it in the food processor this is a chicken uh, chicken thigh and breast combined okay so on the vegetable we have cilantro we have I have this one that just to show it to you, a dry mushroom, sitaki mushroom. And I put it overnight, soak it, okay? And chop it also finely. And then we have the onions, the green onions, and then the cabbage. The Napa cabbage is cut and so finely, soak it with, not soak with water, okay? but a half a teaspoon a half a tablespoon of salt and leave it and just keep on you know stirring it okay so leave it until you're ready for it you can start any of your dumplings and also the eggs that we have the salt and then we put a little of our sugar and you probably noticed that i put it a different container so I know which one I'm going to be putting in. I'm not doubling the sugar or doubling the salt. And as I said, we have the mince and we have, I use this one. It's easier to use when you got, you know, and make it easier. So fine and easy to absorb in your meat. Okay, so let's go. And uh, I have the, uh, the chili sauce the chili oil actually that we can put it in any of your dumplings to mix it to give more flavor so are you ready so we'll start our cooking on our shrimp and pork dumpling okay we'll start the shrimp and pork dumplings and to begin with we have the mixing one. We'll just put all the mints that we have. This is like a half a cup of mints. 
four cut finely and we have also the big one but we will not include this one we're gonna save it for something else okay and uh, and then first we will have this too our ground pork that is at least a cup of ground pork we're not going to be using a lot of this so our ingredients is because we're going to have a lot of dumplings to do okay so we'll just go and mix that okay just keep on mixing and we will put our vegetable which is one fourth of our carrots oh make the we can double it if you want to to make it more then okay just mix it And a little of our of our ginger maybe just a half a teaspoon of ginger and a half a teaspoon of our garlic we can put also uh, maybe one teaspoon of our salt and just keep on stirring okay you have to mix it really good massage it because this one will make our meat the shomai will be so tender and juicy okay then we'll just put a little of our onions one tablespoon of onion and one of our green onions same of the measurement and do it again okay and now we will put our chicken broth it smells good just with the ginger and our garlic together it smells so good okay so we will have our chicken broth here and we will have half a cup okay and it's because we will be using all of them you see how this one has watery the broth is there but you watch you have to really put it all together and if you can mix it with a different direction not a different direction i mean it will be same direction all the time you see the water or the broth that you are you have is now disappearing it is now in our meat and shrimp okay so that's what it is and now we can put our egg but you can avoid the egg you can actually do not use the egg because of so much you know the consistency of this one is really good you know and you can actually do it by doing this 
so the broth will be mixed to your evenly to your meat and then we can just put a little of our cornstarch one tablespoon of cornstarch is good enough and a little of sugar maybe a half teaspoon of sugar and just go keep stirring again okay so if you want to put cilantro it's up to you because a lot of vegetable will make it really good afterwards you see how the thing is your soup is not there anymore the one that we put is not there anymore but this time we're not you know we're just gonna put one teaspoon of soy sauce we have the light soy sauce here and uh, this is good also okay half a teaspoon to have a good taste and start stirring again Just leave it for now while we are preparing our wrapper and I want to show it to you how to uh, wrap it as a dump. Okay, now we proceed to our uh, presentation, of course. Now we have our dumplings that we mix and we have our wrapper. This is the one that I have for, you know. And by the way, be sure that you have your hands clean, wash, okay? So now I have a rolling pin here. Some of them are little cracked, so just, just uh, you know, choose which one. Because sometimes they have it on a long period of time in the uh, freezer that makes it really you know cracking and dry okay we can just use some of it and by the way we can have a small amount of water just to touch this one to make it a little bit you know sticky but we will try without it okay so just put it like this and you can actually have it's up to you if you want to put more okay and this one you put it together in the middle okay and close it but you can actually have pinch it on both ends here See how it has racks already and just go uh, push it in and you can have that okay and I for this time because of uh, our dry wrapper we can actually put a little water or choose which one well it's the same thing so you use the one with the powder inside okay let's go do it again yes you want to put it down so you can see it and blitz in here and blitz on the other side and just go to another end, just splits and splits, and then just hold it like this. 
get your thumbprint. Okay, we'll do it again. And I want to show you. Actually, you can put many pleats that you wanted to just to avoid because of our wrapper is a little dry so just fold it in the middle like that okay and you can put this finger to pleats just on the front okay and then do it here and here and then just push it, push down on here. If you're having a hard time, like I am now, we can put a little of water on the side to make it moisten it, okay? So we'll see, we'll get the water and uh, we'll show it to you the difference, okay? Okay, we'll start it again. And as I said, the flowery, just put it on the bottom. And then we can just put a little of water on the side. It's because of it's starting to be dry. And yes, go put it this way. And you know, if you notice that I don't have much of the vegetable, you can put more if you want to, okay? So just go put it on the middle again, and you can actually have those. If you want three pleats or many pleats, it's up to you, okay? So just, this is the one that pushes the meat inside your finger in here. And then go and then see how and actually you can do it without the pleats if you want to so you can put anything that you want to to make it easier for you okay and with this one you can make a lot and of course, children or your uh, guests will be happy to eat not only just one, maybe five of them. And still, we got plenty, okay? This one doesn't have any pleats at all. It's just like a half moon. And you can do that too, make it easier for you, okay? So it is, you know, you can make your own design. Let's go do it again. And we have already that much. Okay. And we'll just put our water in here. And just go close it. And push it with your finger. And then just close. Like we are making empanada but empanada has a ridges on the side. And we can do that too, if you want to, okay? So that is a good one. It's a half moon, no pleats. And we can also do it again. And here we have, we'll make a couple, so I can show it to you how we can fry it, okay? In dumplings, you can boil it, you can fry it, you can steam wherever you are happy and you want to see what the difference of frying, boiling, and of course, the steaming, okay? So here we can put pleats again and close it. Okay, and then another pleats on this side and close. Okay. 
And this one, you can actually, if you have friends that like this and want to order the start of the business, you know, you can also sell that. And your cost, you have to watch what, how much you, you spend. And here, the last one, you'll put it on the middle and just close it, pleats it, pleats another one, and then go to the other side, sorry. And now we can just go pleats it and another pleats and just go push, push, and push. Okay, now we're going to have the beef. We just finished our pork and shrimp dumpling. Now we're going to do our beef and mushroom that goes with that. It is very good. Okay, and same vegetable. We have the carrots and water chestnut, but we will be putting a little bit more and our onions the ginger and the garlic and our salt and here we have the cornstarch and I mentioned we have one egg to put it the ginger and the garlic our salt and we will put a one tablespoon of our soy sauce okay so let's start and uh, we can mix this and usually we just put our little of our ginger on eight that's too much because sometimes it is strong it's not good also and our garlic a tablespoon of our onions and we can put now our one egg okay. and our tablespoon of soy sauce little salt because we have already the soy sauce and sugar just approximate one teaspoon of that okay so let's just go mix it This one is because it's beef. It is, I guess, it's tougher than our chicken. So we have to really mix it really good. Massage it. And we can put our mushroom that we dice. And the mushroom, we can have just a quarter because we will be putting some of our mushroom to another dumpling. So we're saving that. This mushroom is the, the, the dry mushroom. I uh, soak it overnight. It will be, you know, easy to cut. And, uh, and you know, it is very good for our dumplings, okay? And then 
we can put our On making this, you have to have all your ingredients ready. So I got three fourths of that carrots and additional for that vegetable. We have the water chestnut, which is half a cup. And we can mix that all together. Okay. smells mushroom here and our ginger smells too because this is an important one okay. and then we have to put our uh, what do you call that broth chicken broth okay We can put half cup. I'm using the same one because these are all dumplings. There's all the same ingredients. It is just the processing we have is different. And I have quarter, a half, and a three-fourth. You see how much those things are? But after mixing it, it absorb there to make it more uh, tender it's not dry so when you boil this the beef we're gonna boil the dumpling okay and see how When you do that, the meat absorb our broth and it stay in the meat. So when you cook it and it's done to eat, you can see the juice inside. Okay, we are halfway done on our beef dumpling. And I want to add a white pepper on this one. Okay, this one will add good flavor. And it's because it is a half teaspoon. And it's up to you if you want a little bit more peppery taste. It will be good too. Okay. And for me, it looks like uh, we can add at least maybe a one, another maybe a tablespoon of, uh, of our juice there. We want all the juice or the broth to be there in our meat. So there's a big difference though, because when it's done, you can see the juice there, not dry. Then we can add our green onions. Okay. So we got our egg, we got our vegetable, mushroom, our carrots, our seasoning, and of course this one will be a season to taste, so it's up to you, okay? So what you can do is just get a small amount, maybe like this, and put it on the microwave just to taste it and see if it is, the taste is there. If you need more of the pepper, you need more of the salt or little of the sugar, go for it. Because that's why some people 
wants to taste it, putting it in the microwave. Okay, do the same thing. Okay, so are we ready to wrap this? Okay, now we can start wrapping our beef dumplings. You know what it is consists of. We have the mushroom, our carrots is there, and we have the green onions, and of course, all our seasoning. So, let's do it. And as I said, when you wrap it, the back one is the clean one, and you can just put the one with the powder. And also, try to cover your, to prevent it from drying. So you can probably notice that we have some of the edge are start cracking, and that's not good, you know, because our, uh, our wrapper is not really the homemade wrapper. And you can just put it one. The beef is, uh, we're gonna be cooking it by boiling, okay? So you just put it on the middle, and you can see how it cracks already. So we don't want that, but we will just keep on wrapping it, you know? And we'll see how it will be. It's because this is boiling, we wanna prevent it from those cracks. So. And you can also, you know, the beef, you can also, uh, what do you call that? You can also fry it if you want to. Especially what you bought, the wrapper that you bought is not a, you know, it's not a, a good one and showing the cracks on the side. So, so you can just put a little of that one, uh, the stuffing. So, you want. Yes, in the middle again, okay. Just fold it like the other one that we have. Okay. See that? So we don't want those. So hopefully it will stick together. Okay, boiling water is ready for our uh, our beef dumpling. So I want to put a little of oil, so just to get it a little, just a little, just to have it, you know, not be sticking around together. So I'm just gonna. This beef is a good one to uh, to boil. Okay, boiling. Because we put uh, quite a few in there, so we don't want to be, we, we want it to be cooked. Okay? And of course, easier for us is to boil them all at the same time. For five, five to uh, eight minutes, you know, boiling, now high heat or high boiling will be a good one. You can see it is wrinkly and it is a sign of the heat is inside our beef. Okay, so we're just gonna go and leave it, let it boil. And 
Jose. These are only the samples that we have for appetizer. We have more, more, more of appetizer that we can offer you. But now, this is the requested of our apos. They want this one again because I cooked quite a few when we had one of my, my apo had a birthday. And I said, Lola, I want that. You know, so I promised them that I will do it again and uh, do it more so that they can, you know, bring it to school. So now I want to share it to you how to do it the easiest way and a good one for your grandchildren, for your visitors at home if you have planned to have a party. Okay, so in a few minutes, this one will be good enough to think. Yeah. You see how I'm so glad it didn't it stick together. You know, we'll just have for another, you know, two minutes. Okay, looks like it is ready. Okay, that's floating right now. Beef is not really a dangerous, you know, if it is not uh, really cooked. Pork is. So this time, look at this, huh? And it's big. It's big. And this is a good one for dipping sauce also. We need a dipping sauce for that. And uh, if you have this one, you can put also in the soup, like a wonton soup. So you can put any vegetable that you want. And this is another dish. It's not only appetizer. Okay. So just to give you an idea. And as I said, if somebody likes it in your party and they want to order, go for it. Because this is a business. Okay. You can, you know, the, the uh, capital does expenses that you will have is not much but when you sell it you got more profit okay so just uh, you know go for it whatever and this is what we have right now it looks good it didn't open and it has all the uh, it's big it's big one okay so now this is our beef dumpling. And what we have leftovers in here, you can go ahead and make it like a shomai too, or anything that you want. You can put it on your egg roll to make it a egg roll Shanghai. And that is a good one too. So you don't have to waste it. You don't have to, you know, keep on doing your dumplings. You can put it in the freezer, take it out, and whatever you need it, you can, you know, use it. Okay? So, good luck. We have another one. Our shomai. So, stick around. Okay? Just sit back. Keep watching. And we will continue cooking. Okay? We'll just continue doing our invention of dumplings and all those things for the kids the appetizer okay now we will then be making the shomai shomai uh, with uh, pork and ground chicken this is i uh, grind it to the you know food processor this morning and this is uh, breast okay that's the only one available to me, so I just use that and just mix it. And uh, just make it good. Mixing is what we need for this. Okay? You see now is marrying the chicken. And we can put our cabbage, Napa 
I shred it. I cut it so thin. Okay, now well, we have this Napa cabbage that we want to put it with our mixture of pork and chicken. Uh, this one is, I cut it so fine, a thin one, and put a tablespoon of salt so that we will take all the water from the uh, Napa cabbage. So okay, we can leave it. I did, you know, I left it for a couple of hours, not hours, but minutes. Half of a, you know, uh, 30 minutes is fine while I'm doing the other, the rest of the ingredients of our, you know, shamai. okay? So here, uh, it looks like it is all mixed, you know, uniform. So we can put our cabbage. Just be careful because of the salt that we put in here. Be sure you're, you know, mixing and the seasoning for your shomai will not be salty. Okay, so we have that one. Put it here, and we can put the white pepper. And a little sugar in there. And our pepper. A one teaspoon black, not white, I mean white pepper. I don't use the black one when it comes to dumplings because it will show, uh, it's like a spreckle black, okay? So just go and mix it. And, and we will put all the ingredients that we have, like the carrots, our green onions, and our garlic. Same thing as our dumplings. Those things are very good when you mix it, you know, especially the fresh one, okay? So we will do that. And we will have uh, just a tablespoon of our soy sauce. And we'll mix it again. That soy sauce is very, very good. I like that soy sauce. You can smell it. Okay. So, well, just marinate it for a little maybe in two minutes. Okay, we'll put our carrots here. We'll mix it. And we will save some for the toppings of our shamai. So we'll just have that. And of course, we need a little of our garlic and a ginger. We'll put our garlic in there okay so we also put our onions and the green onions and the last of our onions green onions and regular onions our purple onions okay so we just mix it again and We'll put our broth, okay? But before that, I want to put a little uh, chili there. Uh, here. I want to put a little chili in there. Just one tablespoon, okay? And then let's just mix it. Don't be afraid that you're missing something in there, especially salt or our, you know, soy sauce, because we have a dipping sauce. Then we can put our last 
broth, chicken broth. And have We can put our uh, cornstarch. They said that it's good when you make something like this. You put it in one direction, but I don't know why, but I'm using it too. If you want more of the vegetable, because I have more of our, uh, what do you call that? The uh, water chestnut, we can add also, okay? So we can add that one before we wrap it, okay? Just, just have it. We have plenty of our water chestnut and it's okay to add more of those, not a problem, you know. Okay, and this is optional, the cilantro. Okay. It will give some flavor too. And we will just let it sit for maybe five minutes and we'll start wrapping. And this one is a steaming and we will use our bamboo steamer. Okay, now our final is the shomai. Shomai with the, you know, with our pork and chicken with all the vegetable that we have is the napa but the topping is we have a shrimp and a little carrots so we'll start now our wrapping okay so this one you can actually put it on your here and just keep on Putting it and have actually it is nice if it is this one is a little bigger but we can manage this is just a show show my that we normally do and have our knife to push it in. And just keep on turning it, turning, and put more if you want to. And it's just like a, the ends is just like a flower. And we can put one of our shrimp in here and a little of our okay we'll try it again because my finger is short but we can do it and you can okay so we'll just put it this way and just keep on moving and rolling and you can just actually have it like standing now and then we can just put a little one piece of your shrimp and the carrots on top and 
it's ready for steaming. Okay, we'll do it again. Okay. If you have a longer, longer finger, it will be easy for you, but we can manage too by folding it on the side and just keep on rolling and rolling and pushing it down. So the inside of the bottom one has filling, okay? There you go. And again, you can put shrimp and the carrots on top. While we have our steaming getting ready to boil, we are doing this to make it faster. And I know when you start doing this, all of them will be in front of you waiting. So just have to, I guess we have to be faster, you know? So just get. Just do it like this, simple. Don't get nervous. And then we'll just put our, again, we can put our small piece of our shrimp on top. And then add that one. So we're gonna be good, okay? So. Method is good. Twisting, adding more if you can, fold it and roll it like that. Put your shrimp on top, your carrots on top, and voila. So, still looks yummy to me. It's not bad to do. It's not hard, I mean, you know. It's just being patient and uh, artistic will be good. Okay. And you can form it when you're ready just to put it down. As long as it is, you know, standing, not leaning on the other side or falling down, okay? So we'll do more. Okay, we'll start steaming now, okay? We have our shiomai and high boiling and you won't believe I use this bamboo steamer today. So I baptized this one with our shomai. And, uh, you know, we can just put more and a little, just a little more. And then we can actually do it again. We can brush that with our oil. Uh, okay, we'll just brush it with a little garlic, not garlic, but that uh, spicy oil here. But it's just not as spicy as you think. But it's just giving us a flavor, okay? 
and we will cover it for five minutes and we're ready for another batch and we can just continue while waiting for that we can make more we're gonna make another batch while waiting for this first one going and uh, see we have still some shrimp here and carrots so let's just go continue okay make it more so we can have a lot and as i said you can with this mixture you can actually make like 40 pieces or 50 pieces a lot isn't it but it's up to you you have to be patient making this because this is a lot of work prep is not too bad but to do it you have to be patient really patient okay so we'll put a little bit more of the jewel and just keep on doing it you can add whatever's left over of the other one that we did the dumpling you can put it all together if you want to the beef with the chicken and with the pork and put a little bit more of your uh what do you call that vegetable and as i said you can make egg roll for that egg roll that is multi combo whatever you can call okay it is good okay time is over so we're gonna get our first don't mind mm -hmm. that's good so and our shrimp will give us a good flavor for that and we still have couple more to get so here it is and we have hi now you see what we had for you we have the shumai we have another dumpling that we fry and because of this fry, we have used our chili sauce for dipping. And for the shawmai, we have our chili sauce, the oil, and the soy sauce. When we have the boiled one, which is the beef, and we use our chili sauce also, and with a little sugar in it, and, and the oil, chili oil sauce. Okay, so these are all the finished products that we have. So please, you know, try it, taste it, and share and subscribe for more of our videos coming. Okay, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Okay, see you next time. This is Chaparez of Regina's Kitchen. Thank you.